Hello everybody, Tanisha here coming to you guys with the review for the Homeschool Review Crew. Today I will be reviewing the Creating a Masterpiece um, program and we received a one year subscription to their online drawing program. Now I know you guys have seen me do a review for Creating a Masterpiece before. Please um, note that I will pin that to the top of this review so you'll be able to see a card for that coming up shortly. If you want to go and check that out, I will also have that linked in the description box. Now, you guys know in the description box there you will find a um, information on how to purchase what I'm reviewing today, information about creating a masterpiece. You will also see a crew blog post that you can check out to hear other reviewers' thoughts on this product as well. And then, you know, you can also check out the pinned comment. I will have all that information for you there as well. All right. So let's go ahead and get started with creating a masterpiece online drawing program. Alright guys, so as soon as you log into creating a masterpiece, they do have a free sample project. Now this sample project is a pastel um, project, so it is not with the drawing program that we will be um, showing you today. However, it you come in and you have your art studio and from there you can kind of just check out and see everything that they have to offer, the different programs. So, you know, as you see in the review that I did previously, my son um, did a couple of ink pictures and he did a painting. So it was the tropical fish he's done before and he did, oh, the dragonfly. He did a really good job on that dragonfly. So that's what you'll see in the previous review. But today we are going to keep on scrolling and we are going to go down to the drawing program. So anything that you have access to will not be um, locked. If it, you don't have access to that, then it will have a lock thing right there. So this is the drawing program and it is broken down by different levels. So you have here your beginning drawing and I'll be showing you a picture from this today. And then you have your drawing level one where you see things kind of step up a bit and give you more variety of projects. Um, you'll be working with charcoal and just different types of pencils. And then in drawing level two, things um, get a lot more intricate. You'll be, you'll be able to fill in that white space a bit more. And then also just doing some more free flowing things like this general's horse. That's the next project that I will be trying. And then in the final section, drawing level three, that's when things get very, very detailed. Again, you're going to be playing with different types of pencils and playing with different color pencils, learning how to blend and make those, create different things and shadowing and all that good stuff. So let's dive right into the projects that we worked on during this review period. So the first thing I wanna show you is the lessons in pencil. Giraffe and Cartoon. Now this is the project that I actually um, worked on because my son was having so much fun working through the first stage. I decided to go ahead and try something. So as you click on it, it will give you a description on what you'll be doing and how Ms. Sharon's going to teach you. And then you have your supplies list um, where you can purchase the supplies. And then this, the lessons are right here when you click this. So let's go ahead and view the supplies list. So for your supplies, it will give you a detailed description on what you need, your drawing paper, the size you need, the type of pencil you need, your eraser, and anything else. And then it also has notes down here on recommendations. And if you click the purchase supplies buttons, you'll be able to do that. And then she also has the math already done for you for what you will need for one to six students. And we know us homeschooling families, you know, you don't know how many students we could have at home. So I like that she did that. And then some of the things she's noted that the children can share in some of the different projects. Um, you may not need six of everything or four of everything. You may be able to share those um, amongst all of your children. So now if you do choose to purchase the supplies that she recommends through um, the website, it brings you to a different website and everything is right there. Um, it tells you what's in stock and out of stock and when you can expect it to be available. And then it lets you know the price for everything and the quantity that you need. You would just adjust for your children based off of her recommendations in that flow chart. And the one thing that I noticed about this website is we've visited a couple of times. They always have a free shipping option and they always have a coupon code. 
So that's very helpful. However, we did um, choose to go with supplies that we already had, as well as um, things that we purchased from Hobby Lobby. If you don't know Hobby Lobby, they always have a 40% off coupon. You just go in there and everybody who has a device can have a coupon. And so we take our cell phones in there and we were able to get everything that we need, each item 40% off. So once you click on the lessons, it will bring up the different videos that are available for that project. And in doing so, she's very good at her description. She starts each lesson off with a detailed, um, not necessarily a walkthrough, but just an explanation of how she did this, why she chose to do certain things. And then she immediately goes into teaching. Now, one thing that I've noted, my son has to do a lot of pausing and he has to do a lot of um, rewinding for these videos. I do feel like she goes very, very fast, um, especially for this to be a drawing lesson. I think there should be... Um, some moments where she just says kind of in the video, hey, pause the video right here um, and try this. Um, or she should have a lot more still shot options just so you can clearly see what she's doing. If I myself doing the same thing that my son was doing, having to rewind a lot, having to make adjustments. But of course, I'm sure that might be that could also be a newbie thing because um, I have not drawn in years. But I definitely think that she does a great job teaching. Um, but she does move very, very fast. The good thing is it's a video. So just pause it, rewind it. You'll be just fine. All right, guys. So this is my finished product and me just jumping on and saying, hey, let me try this. Now, this honestly took about 15 minutes to do her videos for this lesson are very, very short. Um, each one was like four minutes, three minutes two minutes, four minutes, you know, so it took about 15 minutes to do this. I'm proud of myself. Now, it doesn't look exactly like hers, but since it's a cartoon, I decided to make some adjustments for myself. Like I kept the mouth open and I found this to be um, honestly easy to do. I was really surprised. So she does a good job of explaining things. And so Bear's, um, one of his recent projects was the Lessons in Color Pencil, the first Thanksgiving. And so he did this one by following her directions, but then he decided to go do one just completely freehand. And so he's almost done with this one. And he made this one a bit smaller. So he definitely said he wants to make one larger, but he is getting better and he is enjoying it. I so I found that for my younger two children, she does move a bit too fast for them. Um, so they, whenever we did art, I gave them other things to do. But Bear has had a great time working through this. He worked through this again um, previously, and he enjoyed doing the painting um, that he tried and the other variations of the art programs that she has. So this drawing um, program was really fun for him to jump right back into. He really likes cartooning and illustration. So this was giving him an opportunity to perfect what he is learning. So I definitely think this will be enjoyable for homeschool families again. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to this review for the Creating a Masterpiece one-year subscription to the online drawing program. Again, don't forget to check the description box for all the information that I said in the beginning of the video, as well as links to the program. I also want you guys to note the pinned comment for extra information and a link to my blog, TanishaKemp.com. Don't forget to check out that blog, guys. Be sure to subscribe to this channel if you'd like to see more curriculum reviews. And also subscribe to that blog so you can know what we are doing in our homeschool journey. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and that you are making sure to make time for art in your homeschools. It is so important to give our children some creative release. And you can find inspiration for art anywhere. And her lessons definitely help Ms. Sharon's very good at engaging people of all ages and, and ensuring that we are building our talent of drawing, whether you are a newbie, whether you are a novice, whether you are a professional at this. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next video. Happy homeschooling.